handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from the Finger Lakes racetrack here on Tuesday. It is the 27th of June 2023. I'm going to look at the fifth race from Finger Lakes, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. The fifth from Finger Lakes, it's a lounge race, first $26,700. Races for Phillies and Mayors, three-year-olds and upwards, never won a race in the main claim starter, or which never won four races here. We have a field of six horses going to the main track, the distance of ground of 1,200 meters, if you want to go with that, or the distance of ground here of six furlongs on the Finger Lakes main track. 1,200 meters, six furlongs, three quarters of a mile, whatever you want to go by. Um, if I wasn't so tired, I could tell you the f how many feet it is also, but I'm too exhausted. <laughs> My top selection, I'm going to go with the two horse. Sycom is a top selection. I'm going to go 2351 in the Super Facta. 2351 Super, top selection of the two horse Sycom, the six year old mare by Byron here. Jose Camajo trains this one. Um, Jason Huellas gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came the 14th of May at Belmont. Six furlongs in a state bird allowance race for 80,000 on the inner turf course at Belmont. And the horse finished fourth by two and a quarter lengths that day. He had a very tough break, which probably cost him that day. He wasn't near the front end. He moved a little bit late, but when you have a shitty trip uh, early on, it costs you. He's refreshing to dirt. Lesser quality horses could be farly paced. Getting Huellas coming up from the south to ride this horse. I think this horse is in a good spot to win today. Two back, you ran the 22nd of April at Aqueduct. Six furlongs out of turf course in the state brought a lounge race for 72 grand. And he put a second by three quarters in length that day. Had a very troubled trip down the back stretch, sitting back early. He moved a lot late. He just missed, but, you know, he, he ran his heart out with all that trouble. Keep in mind, the winner was the next start winner, and the third place win, uh, finisher was the next start winner. But, um, you know, if it, those last two races weren't bad at all. He went off at 9-1 to one by the 9.5-1 to one last time out, and 32.5-1 to one two starts back. So, you know, he's, he's, getting, uh, he's not getting bad in his last few races. Today he'll get bad, I think. Two back around the 23rd of February at the fairground, six furlongs off 17 claimer, and he finished third by five and a quarter lengths that day, and he just kind of stuck, never had the good turn of foot. It wasn't his day to win, and the 3rd of February fairground, six furlongs and claiming 15 on 3 L. Winning by one quarter lengths, and on the front and all throughout, he really, you know, got the job done quite, quite nicely. You know, since coming to uh, the fairgrounds, running on the the um, dirt, he's really become a better horse. He can run on dirt or turf, but I think his dirt performances aren't bad at all. He could be forwardly paced, which is good. He's training well at Monmouth. I'm going to take him here at 5-2. to two, I'm going to single him in the pick five that begins with this race um, and single him if I would play the early um, multi-race wagers also. But to recap my selection for the fifth from the Finger Lakes, going to take the two or Sycom. Let's go 2 three, five, one super. Single the two in your multi-race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck, everybody.